What is up, everybody? Welcome back for another one. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash those likes, hit that subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you'll be notified any and every time I post another video. But man, oh man, I knew this was going to happen. It was only a matter of time. The SEC reportedly is probing crypto lending products by Gemini and Celsius. I'm telling you, folks, big banks, little banks do not like that Crypto lending is giving out a high APY than a savings account or a bank savings. But the article says the SEC's main concern reportedly lies with the high yield offering by crypto lending services, which are often considerably higher than most savings banks. Man, oh man, this is super insane. Some congressmen and some SEC officials do not like crypto. And they and they're, they're folks they're showing they're showing their hand and this is absolutely insane. So as the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is reportedly reviewing some of the high yield crypto lending products offered by Gemini, Celsius Network, and Voyager Digital. Now, for those that don't know, I knew that this was going to happen. I did a video a few months ago about Coinbase's Lend platform, and for those that don't know what Coinbase Lend program is. Uh, this is when Coinbase promised that the Lend feature would offer users a 4% APY, which is higher than most banks return. And it's if if we as the investors allowed Coinbase to make loans to verified borrowers with it. And so here's the thing. This would have actually helped people who did not have a bank earn interest rate. Well, the people over... Um, at the banks didn't like it. And I keep telling people all the time, watch what they do and not what they say. Their hands are being shown. The cards are being shown. The moment that I knew the S the moment that we knew that the SC was coming for Coinbase, we knew that other uh, exchanges or other platforms that offered lending at a high yield would get insane. Now, here's the thing. And just to let you know, Crypto lending services range anywhere between, this says 3%, but I would say anywhere between 4% and 20%. Now, while traditional bank savings accounts only offer less than a tenth of a percent. So you tell me, if you wanted to spend your money on your assets, so if you had a million dollars and you saw that crypto lending services uh, was going between 4% and 20% versus an actual savings account um, under 1%, where would you go? You would go to the crypto lending services. And banks don't like that. The boys over at Goldman Sachs does not like that at all. I'm telling you, folks, banks are trying to shut down crypto lending services. And that's what I, and that's what I keep... That's what it's hurting when it comes to stifling innovation. Instead of actually stopping something that you don't like, let the people decide where they want to go. And if you do let the people decide where they want to go, I can guarantee you that it's going to be crypto and that's going to make banks lose out. Now, they're going to say, oh, well, it's for um, it's to raise investor protection concerns. That's what the SEC is saying. Well, no. Currently, right now, the SEC is being backed into the corner versus the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. They're saying they're trying to protect investors. Investors don't want to be protected. They want to be able to pick and choose what they want to do. I mean, it is the United States. It's supposed to be the land of the free, right? Actually, it's the land of the free um, only to a certain extent, if you get what I'm saying. But I knew that this was going to happen uh, banks have been losing money ever since um, January, March of 2020, and it's going to continue happening because this um, this situational environment is still going on. But I knew that this was going to happen. Uh, banks are losing money. Crypto lending services. Crypto lending services are a place to go. Now, I'm not necessarily telling you to go to crypto lending services because this is out, but what I am telling you is to do your research because... Crypto lending services will help give back the power of the money that has been lost from the banks over years. But um, but the fact 
it's just it's weird and it's odd to me because we knew Celsius was being attacked by the SEC, but we didn't. But now news is coming out that Gemini and Voyager, and I can guarantee you, since Coinbase dropped the Lynn services, they're more than Gemini and Celsius and Voyager are gonna probably more than likely drop the lending services. They're just trying to completely dismantle it. I'm telling you, folks. First, the American Competes Act comes out yesterday, which I talked about that on my TikToks. There's going to be things I talk about on my TikTok that I'm not going to talk about on YouTube and some things I talk about on YouTube that I don't talk about on TikTok. So if you want to find me, it's my same username as TV with Trey. That's my TikTok. Head over to that way and smash those likes uh, and hit that subscribe button over there as well. And I thank you for everybody that's coming in from TikTok. Um, that's coming over to my YouTube and, and the people that's coming over from my YouTube that are coming over to my TikTok. I really appreciate it. Please keep subscribing. Please keep liking. But I just wanted to address this information because this is something that needs to be addressed. And I and I understand that um, there's new regulation coming out. And I really hope that Congress gets this right because Congress only gets one shot to get this right. The SEC's already proved that they're not going to do anything. The, well, well, they proved they're not going to do anything positive for crypto, but the only thing that they're doing is going gonna, is gonna to be for negative because the SEC is so concerned with um, their friends over at Goldman Sachs and, and all the other banks. Um, they're concerned that their friends are going to lose money instead of actually innovating and um, adopting, I'm sorry, not innovating because the government doesn't innovate. They actually adopt uh, new innovations that's up to their standards. So they're trying to man they're trying to manipulate it so much that they're shutting everybody out. They're trying. This is a new technology that's disruptive and that will change the game for people who don't have the funds or means like other people who have one to two million, even a hundred thousand dollars. This yield API could potentially help people because already right now there's a there's a U.S. there's a U.S. statistic that actually says if you're not making sixty five thousand dollars or more this year, you're actually legally uh, more poor if that's even a sentence that you can say, but more poor than what you were back then because of the situations that continue to arise back in twenty twenty. So, but they don't. But the SEC and governments don't care. They want the people to make as less money as possible so they can be constrained and confined to the government's power. Well, crypto takes the power back. Crypto eliminates the middleman. These crypto lending services help people actually get back on their feet, but now they're actually trying to shut them down. Now, um, crypto lending services, um, you know, this has happened all the way from October and then um when they wanted to do a cease and desist, um, you know, it says in October 2021, the, the, the United States Office of the Attorney General cracked down on Celsius and BlockFi, ordering them to close their services. Uh, the NYAG alleged wrongdoing and issued a cease and desist order against the platforms Coinbase, the lending American crypto exchange, which then shut it down. So that means if they keep going to all these other platforms, the other platforms are actually going to shut down those services too, thus giving the banks win again. And that's something that we just cannot stand for, folks. So do we can only do what we can do, and it's just showing you what their hands truly are. And it's just absolutely stupid to me. This really gets on my nerves, and hopefully this can change eventually. This should change. You know, like I said. Uh, the Congress needs to step in and step in quick because the SEC is showing their hands. They sh they're proving that they are only for their friends in the big banks. I'm telling you, folks. But that's all I got to say for that. We're going to go over to the price and I'm going to let you go. Currently, we got Bitcoin at a market cap at one point six trillion. Uh, we got. Sorry, that's the market cap. Then we got Bitcoin at thirty six thousand four hundred seventy seven. We got Ethereum at two thousand four hundred thirty six. We got BNB at $369, Cardano at $1.05, XRP at $0.60, cents, Solana at $90.48. Looks like XRP flips uh, Solana. And then, let me see, it looks like it's been down for a while. And we got 
Uh, Luna at sixty dollars and twenty one cents. Dogecoin at, at fourteen cents. Polkadot seventeen dollars and eighty six cents. Avalanche at sixty four dollars. Binance. Well, we're not talking. About, that's that's a stable coin. And we got Matic at a dollar fifty nine. Shiba Inu coming in at the number fifteen spot. All right, folks, that would do it for me. Please make sure you hit the like. Um, button and the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you'll be notified any and every time i post another video it's only a matter of time before let uh before congress comes out with new legislation about this telling the sec that they do not have jurisdiction jur jurisdiction over any cryptos but that's the, the but that's what congress has to do it's up to congress hopefully they'll do that soon things are coming out quickly now but as always stay focused stay locked in my, my position's uh, very clear. XRP is not a security. I want to turn to you. Thank you uh, for a moment, Mr. Brooks. Um, if, if you were king for a day and you were going to tell us, uh, here's what you need to do to, to structure the regulatory framework. In, in a minute and 39 seconds, tell us what that would look like. I mean, I can barely introduce myself in a minute and 39 <laughs> seconds, Congressman. Uh, I come back to the concept of parity. I don't know why we believe that incumbent institutions are risk-free and anything new is highly risky. So if I have a platform built on a blockchain that is doing lending, I don't know why it's so hard for us to say that can participate in our banking system. If I decide that XRP is a security, why won't we let it list on a U.S. exchange? The problem is we treat crypto assets differently from all other assets. And the answer is just recognize them for what they are. These are assets that represent some underlying activity. It could be a network. It could be an application. They have a value that people are willing to buy and sell at. Let them in. That would be my message.